Why plant tissue culture is comparatively easy compared to animal tissue culture? Theoretically, this plant, any cell of this plant can give rise to a complete plant. That property is called as totipotency. In the case of animals, the only fully totipotent cell is a zygote that gives rise to a complete organism. Plant tissue culture is simply the culturing of tissues, organs or cells of plants in a controlled laboratory conditions like this. So we have provided external nutrient source and also a control condition that is suitable for the growth of that plant. So we can define plant tissue culture as an in vitro aseptic culture of cells, tissues or organs in a controlled environment provided with sufficient nutrients often to produce the clones of plants or genetically identical plants or plants with desirable qualities or traits. In this video we will be discussing 5 steps of plant tissue culture within 3 to 5 minutes. Step 1 is the selection of explant. Explant is any part of the plant that is used for plant tissue culture is called as the explant. It can be a leaf, even a protoplast, nodal segments, root etc. So we need to select this explant from a mother plant which is disease free with desirable traits. Often we grow this mother plant in a greenhouse in a controlled environment so that that plant is not prone to diseases or unwanted traits. So we select that mother plant and from that mother plant we isolate the explant that may be leaf, root, nodes, nodal segments etc. This is followed by surface sterilization. The major problem with plant tissue culture is microbial contamination. So at each step we should be very careful to avoid microbial contamination. Surface sterilization of the explant begins with keeping the explant under running tap water for many times. Then we will be washing the explant in a detergent or treating with ethyl alcohol. This is followed by further washing with distilled water. Then we take this explant into the laminar air flow or laminar air hood that provides a sterile environment for tissue culture work. In the laminar air hood we treat this explant with surface sterilants like mercury chloride often 0.1% is used. So this is very toxic so further we after that treatment we will be washing it once again many times with distilled water. Then we will be trimming the explant to remove the edges that has direct contact with mercury chloride as mercury chloride is toxic and cause cell death. So we have live cells. And this is followed by inoculation so explant is properly trimmed then inside the laminar airflow that is inoculated into a suitable medium like MS medium, whites medium, etc. Then the next step is shooting and rooting. Shooting and rooting is induced by changing the hormonal compositions or phytohormones. First what happens is this explant divides and forms a callus of an callus, which is an undifferentiated mass of cells and from that we will be adding different hormonal combinations to induce shooting or rooting. The most common method that we use is this auxin cytokinin ratio that works with majority of the plants. High auxin and low cytokinin fervors rooting. We will be subculturing these if there is nutrient depletion. Then after rooting we will be adding low auxin and high cytokinin and that fervors shooting. So we have a plantlet inside the culture tube with shoots and roots with many leaves. The next step is the final step called as hardening. It is simply the transfer of this cultured plant from lab to land. It's a gradual transfer of this cultured plant from lab to land or to the field. So this rooted plant first this is kept in the laboratory under the shade then more number of leaves and roots gets established then we'll be gradually transferring that plant into a greenhouse and finally taking this plant out into the field. So hardening is a process of gradual acclimatization or helping the plant to adapt to the field environment from milder conditions to, to normal field conditions gradually. So let me summarize the five steps in plant tissue culture starts with selection of explant from a disease free plant with desirable traits. This is followed by thorough surface sterilization with water, ethyl alcohol and mercury chloride. Then everything will be done inside a laminar air hood that 
ensures a sterile environment. This is the step three is inoculation into a suitable medium like MS medium, whites medium, etc. This is followed by shooting and rooting by changing the hormonal combination of an high auxin and low cytokine in fervous rooting and low auxin and high cytokine in fervous shooting. And finally, the developed plantlet with roots and leaves is gradually exposed to from milder condition to normal field conditions gradually and process of transferring this tissue culture plant from lab to land is called as hardening. Hope you understand the steps involved in plant tissue culture. Hope you are benefited from this video. Take care. Stay blessed. Thank you so much. You are with biologyexamsforry.com.